Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss pictorial descriptive statistics part 2. Okay, in this particular video I am going to do discuss the construction of histogram, ogive, box plot, qq plot, time series plot etc. Now to construct a histogram we have to follow this uh, syntaxes. Suppose x holds the data and we have to draw a histogram for that. So hist is the syntax, x is the data and number of bakes as of it is 5 initially. So if you execute this one, so you can see this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 breaks are there. So you can see that in between 20 to 40, the maximum frequency 10 is there. Okay. In between 0 to 20, number of data say 4. In between 40 to 60, it is uh, about 5. Clear. So um, in this way, you can uh, create histogram. Okay. Now, you just take an, one another example. Suppose so X holds a data, ten thousand data, and this particular distribution, the mean is zero and standard deviation is one. Now, if you draw the histogram, so you can see that particular the the mean is zero. Okay, so it is symmetric, near about symmetric. So this particular horizontal part indicates the frequency and this particular uh, the, the vertical part indicates the frequency and the horizontal part indicates the x value it is in between 4 to minus 4 ok now we can do one thing uh, you can see what happened if you can if you increase the uh, if you reduce the number of breaks ok so if you can you can reduce the number of breaks or we may increase the number of breaks say if it is 1000 so it is looks like that so you can increase number of breaks or you can reduce the number of breaks it is depends upon the analyst uh, the uh, the he or she convenient on that particular data now we can say the density of that density curve of that so for that we have to use this particular function okay so already you know the value of x now for that you just write Okay, so you can see the the vertical part. It is the density zero zero two point three two. Okay, so we can construct the density function also. Next, to construct the frequency polygon, we have to use this particular syntaxes. Now, male mathematics marks. These are the mathematics marks. Okay, so already you know how to construct the frequency distribution okay so up to that we know that frequency distribution here clear now here we just cumulative frequency distribution we had cumulative frequency distribution now we just plot this one now you can see this one so this is nothing but a frequency polygon of mathematics mass of a student okay so that horizontal part indicates max interval and the vertical part indicates number of students so we can use x lib and y lib x lib for the max interval and y lib uh, y lab for the number of students mean through mean we can define the name of the you know, name of that particular picture clear okay. so this is nothing but a frequency polygon next we will see how to construct the ogive so in ogive we add all the frequency and plot in a graph so what is how, how to construct a ogive so to construct a ogive, we have to follow these lines. Okay, so x holds the data. Clear. So up to that, already you know how to uh, how to construct the cumulative frequency distribution. Now here we just plot it and identify the lines. Okay, so if you print this one, so this is nothing but a ogive plot. Okay, so we can put the name of that particular also here. We can put as a name okay so we can see OJ plot we can print the name of this figure also okay now we can see how to construct a box plot so to construct a box plot we follow this particular so x is the data now we have to construct a box plot for this particular x when horizontally so it will 
print the box plot horizontally so it is true now if you execute these lines so you can get this particular now in box plot this is the minimum part q1 part q2 part q3 part and the maximum part now if you remove the t part so it will remove vertically so you can see the vertical so minimum part q1 part q2 part q3 part and the maximum part okay now we can see how to draw a qq plot okay so to draw the qq plot you have to follow this syntax okay x values are there y values are there and the qq plot x and y okay now just execute this one so it is nothing but a qq plot okay x and y okay next we can construct time series plot so for time series plot we have to follow these lines okay so you can see this one so month cost and these are the cost of that particular item okay. and that is the end of this particular video for scatter plot so for scatter plot we have to follow this particular syntax x and y two data are there so we have write x x and y so it will print the value x and y so you can give the name of this particular plot so for that we can name it mean is equal to scatter plot so it will print the name of this particular figure scatter plot next we will see how to draw the scheme and lift diagram so to draw steam of lift diagram just age is a variable and you just write steam age you can get this particular figure so this is nothing but a steam of steam and lift diagram finally you can see the cause uh, Lorentz curve so for the Lorentz curve so first of all to draw the Lorentz curve we have to install this particular page INEQ -E and we have to load INEQ so already we have I have installed this two pages then so it is INEQ INEQ okay then execute this one so this is nothing but Lorentz curve okay and it is the end of this particular video Thank you.